coefficient of determination r square a measure of goodness of fit so what does it mean that how well the srf is fitting the data so you don't have the entire population with you you just have the sample so it is basically telling you how well the sample regression function which you have estimated is fitting the data right that's a summary measure so if this value of r square is more it means that you've been able to fit i mean you've been able to carry on the regression which is able to fit the data well uh, so basically it is telling you how well uh, whatever independent variables you have taken how their variability is explaining the variability in the dependent variable so r square in the two variable case and uh, basically capital r square or r bar square in the multiple variable case so i've just written r capital r square out here but it also means r bar square i'll be telling you in the other lectures so what do you have this your actual y is equal to the estimated y plus the residual we have already seen this in the deviation form small y i is equal to small y i hat plus small u i hat this also you have seen we have done this in the properties of uh, the estimates right i think earlier we have done that this also you have seen so you can square both the sides So y i square is equal to y i hat square plus u i hat square to y i hat u i hat, and then you can sum both the sides. Y i hat square summation of <clears throat> u i hat square. This two will come out of the summation. Y i hat u i hat. This also you have proved in the earlier recording that this is equal to zero. Summation of small y i hat small u i hat is equal to zero. That means that uh, the residuals and the estimated y's are uncorrelated with each other. You have proved this earlier, right? So summation of y i hat u i hat is equal to zero. So basically, what you have is this. The summation of u i hat square, but you can also write this in this way. Y i hat uh, is basically what your beta two hat small x i. But I, you also have proved this. I think I need to go a little back so that you understand that we have done all of this. Ta -ta 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 -ta. We have done this, beta. You remember this? We have done this, and uh, you have also written this thing. Why I had beta two hat x i. So you have done that as well. So if you have not seen that recording, I urge you to see that first. So basically, I mean, when you just write this guy, so this also could be written as. Uh, this is small y i small y is what your deviation of actual y from its mean so y i minus y barca square versus y i hat that is deviation of the estimated y from its mean that is y i hat bar summation of u i hat square so this is what this you can write as what this is the total variation of actual y values about their sample means
about their sample mean. And this is what? Variation of estimated Y values around this, around their mean. variation of estimated y values about their mean right and this is what these are the residuals so this is basically what? This is the variation of Y values about the regression line. This is the variation in Y values about the regression lines. Basically, you can write all of this as what? This is called what? This is the total sum of squares is equal to explained sum of squares plus residual sum of squares. Total sum of squares is equal to explained sum of squares plus residual sum of squares. Uh, so you can just divide both the sides by TSS. So you have what ESS upon TSS plus RSS upon TSS. RSS upon TSS. So I can write this as basically summation of y i hat minus y i hat bar cos square all upon summation of yi minus y bar cos square the summation of ui hat square plus summation of yi minus y bar cos square plus summation of this so i can define this guy as r square Right. This guy is R square. This ESS plus TSS as R square. Simply, I can define this guy as R square. So R square. is ESS upon TSS. So the proportion of the variation in the dependent variable that is explained by the variability in the independent variables. For example, if you say income is dependent upon education, so there is a variability in income and there is a variability in the education. So what proportion of the variability in income is being explained by the variability in education? That is your independent variable. So what is your R square telling you? Uh, or you can just write R square also as one minus RSS upon TSS. That is the residual sum of squares upon this. So what is R square telling you? So R square is the coefficient of determination. It measures the proportion of total variation in Y explained by the regression model. Explained by the regression model. And uh, this R square is lying between zero to one, right? So if this R square is equal to zero, that would mean what? That there is no relation at all between X and Y. No 
no relation between X and Y. So in such a case, what is the best prediction of Y which you can make? That is a sample mean of Y. So when there is no relation between the independent and the dependent variable, and you have to focus the value of the dependent variable, the best you can do is the mean. So the mean is the value, right? So the best prediction in such a case. The best prediction of uh, any value of y is simply its mean value. Otherwise, you could have estimated beta. Otherwise, you could have estimated now. But in this case, you couldn't. That is. Uh, uh, because there is no relation at all. So the best you can say is just find out the mean value and that is going to be the value, right? That is the prediction which you can have. And in such a situation, the regression line will be horizontal. To X axis. Right. So in such a case, the this regression line is going to be horizontal to the x-axis. One thing, and if r square is equal to one, oh, it is God given. So it is a perfect fit. Doesn't happen. It's a perfect fit. Hmm. So when you say r square beta. That is explain sum of squares upon total sum of squares. That is summation of small y i hat square upon summation of small y i square. That's what it is now. That is what it is. So TSS is what? Small y square. ESS is what? small y i hat square and rss is what is this so when i want to write ess upon tss it means what summation of small y i hat square upon summation of small y i square that's what you have written but beta y i hat is what beta 2 hat x i right Beta 2 hat x i. So I can, y i hat square would be what? Beta 2 hat summation of small x i square upon summation of this guy. Hmm. I could have also divided this with n or n minus 1, whatever. So ideally, I should be dividing it by n minus one. I mean, if the sample size is small. And this is what? This is your sample variance in x and y. This is what? This is your sample variance in x and y. So R square. could be written as this also. It could be written as this also, S square x upon x square y. Uh, achha. Then there is one more thing. You remember, um, how do you write this? Okay, beta 2 hat, is summation of small x i y i, Upon summation of small x i square, you have derived this, right? You have derived this. This should be on your tips now. R square is, you have just written it like this. Beta 2 hat square into summation small x i square upon summation small y i square. Beta, beta 2 hat square could be written as like this. 
समेशन ऑफ स्मॉल एक्स आई वाई आई का स्क्वायर अपॉन समेशन ऑफ स्मॉल एक्स आई स्क्वायर का स्क्वायर इंटू समेशन ऑफ एक्स आई स्क्वायर अपॉन समेशन ऑफ वाई आई स्क्वायर सो वन स्क्वायर विल गेट कैंसिल्ड आउट लाइक दिस so it will be what summation of small xi yi ka square upon summation of small xi square into summation of small yi square that is what r square is that is also the way you can write your r square that is also the way you can write your r square uh, so uh -huh. like this okay so this is what i wanted to do in this recording right thank you beta